All right, so uh, Combs is getting a pretty good buck, pretty good 10 point on camera down here. So uh, we're gonna go after him in the morning. Combs, how you feeling about the hunt tomorrow? I'm feeling pretty good about it. Hopefully we'll see some deer. Hopefully we at least see something, I mean. If the buck don't come in tomorrow morning, I think we might might try to shoot a doe, probably. Because if he doesn't come in tomorrow morning to that spot, we're gonna go try a different spot tomorrow evening. Hope we can get it done there, cause he's he tends to come in in the evening in one spot and the morning in the other spot. So hopefully he sticks to that pattern and we get it done. But if not, we'll probably end up killing a doe. Might end up killing some coyotes. We got the fox row with us, like I said earlier. So we'll just see how it goes. About time to get some sleep. Get ready for in the morning. You ready? ready Alright, it's 5 o'clock. 5.45 actually. It's a 6 o'clock, but me and Combs just got up. Combs' kind of alarm's gone off for some reason. Not sure why. But uh, we're about to head out. Might have to go get some food at a gas station or something. Go get set up in the blind. How you feeling? Don't bring in the shit this morning. The weather's good, I mean. 37 degrees, I think. Hopefully we'll have a good wind. Let's see what happens. Just as we were getting in the barn, three does could walked out. So it looked good, but then nothing else after that. It's about 10.30 right now. I think we're going to get out of this barn and take it down and move it to the spot we're going to hunt this evening. We just checked, Katie just checked the camera on his phone. And that buck was there at the other spot this morning at like 4 o'clock, I think, wasn't it? 4 yeah. o'clock, I think. Uh, four. So hopefully he'll come back this evening. We're going to pack this blind up, get it moved, and then we're going to go get us about to eat. So I'll check back in with you. Well, boys, we've ran into a little problem here. KJ, you want to walk us through what's going on? Yeah, well, we were out riding around trying to spot to see if we couldn't see any doe, do a little doe management, but my buddy Dustin, the one that took me on my elk hunt, actually, uh, shot a doe over here while we were on the opposite side of the property, and we were trying to help him look for it, and we unfortunately found a, a dead buck right on our property line. And we can't really do much about it because we are connected to public land. So unfortunately we can't call the game warden. I mean, I guess we're going to have to. They're going to have to come get it. But I mean, you could, but you're probably not going to do anything. Yeah. It actually is a cool deer, though. It's just a little eight or a little six, actually. It's got black feet. I ain't never seen anything like it, really. Yeah, he's got black legs. And they made a good shot, which is why I don't understand why they didn't find it. That's why it doesn't make sense to me, but we are in a bunch of thick stuff, as you can tell, so it'd be pretty easy to lose, lose sight of where you shot it at. But Sucks, but well, unfortunate, it is what it is. I guess we're just going to keep glassing spots, trying to find some does, but yeah, we might probably go, grab about to eat, refuel the Pioneer, not out on gas, so. 
All right, guys, me and KJ just got off the mountain. We were uh, helping Dustin with the doe that he shot, and then we had to call Hurley to tell him about Hurley's KJ's dad, if you didn't know. We had to call him and let him know about the deer that we found that we thought might have been poached. But uh, anyways, we're just now getting down. It's 2.47 right now. So basically, we're at this point, we're just gonna go grab something to eat, fuel up the Pioneer, and head back up on the mountain and go get in the blind. And hope we get lucky this afternoon. Is that not the craziest thing that you've Is that other deer still standing there? The oh. other buck still standing there? Oh 
Oh my God. I think you hit him a little bit back. No, he's dead. He's dead. Trust me, he's dead. He was still quartered to us a little bit. This thing that scares me. I literally just shot the biggest buck in the world. Like, I'm freaking out right now. Like, this might actually be the biggest buck I've ever shot. Dude, like, I'm actually freaking out right now. Oh, my God. Was that not the craziest thing that's ever happened, dude? We just... I've never had a buck fight like that we and did, come back. This this little buck is literally still standing in the corn pile. We literally just watched a, bro, a buck fight. That's the first buck fight I've ever seen, like, with a big buck. Dude, I know. That's crazy. And that's, that is, that's a big that six-pointer, too. That is one of the... That is one of the prettiest oh deer I've ever seen in my life, I think. Dude, last day of my season. Dude, his, his body's like chocolate and he's got the white, snow white, right? Let's go. Give me something to do. Yes, sir, baby. Leave me hanging. That little buck is still standing in the corn pile. No, that's the six. You want to shoot him? No. No, that's a little buck, KJ. Oh, yeah, it is. I was about to say that six ran off. He ain't that stupid. Holy crap. Oh, dad's calling me. Holy crap. Hello. Harley's on the phone. Hey, what up, man? Why did you get him? Yeah, I just shot him. Did you get him? Yeah, he's, he's, he's gonna be dead down the hill. He ran to the right. I mean, I hit him really good. I, we waited so long because he was quartering to us, and I didn't yeah, want man. I didn't want to take a bad shot. Now, listen, though. That six-pointer, first that six-pointer came in, and then a little oh, eight, yeah, and then yeah. and then that ten-pointer came in, and we, me and uh, as soon as I saw my... <sighs> All right, guys, so KJ just shot what's potentially the biggest buck of his life. It could possibly be the biggest buck. And that was definitely one of Cole's hunts in my life. Definitely. That, no doubt. That's it. close to the elk hunt, definitely, or better. <laughs> Probably. It might I don't know. be better. I don't know. But anyways, what happened was we seen the big, the big six point walked out in front of us. We knew he was here, and KJ was going to shoot him, honestly. I mean, we were thinking about shooting him if it got too dark because, like, it's last, last day of muzzleload season. Probably, and it's hard to bow hunt here where it's so open, but I told KJ before that six point came in, I caught a glimpse that there's a bench down here to our left. And I caught a glimpse of, uh, I thought it, I was 99% sure it was a buck. But then when I looked back out there, I didn't see it. And it just kind of disappeared on me. So then I thought I was just seeing stuff, but I was pretty sure I seen a buck down there. And then that little eight point walks out. So then I thought he was the one I seen, and then not five minutes, not even five, five minutes, minutes later, probably like two minutes. I mean, I, I mean, I thought for sure that, that big ten point, walked out. And I thought KJ that eight was point was the one you saw. I'm not gonna lie I, to you. I did too. Dude, I, I did too. Out, but I was like, but uh, dude, I said it was a good thing they're out there because he usually comes out when there's deer there. He hardly ever comes out. That is one of the prettiest bucks I've ever seen in my life for sure. Dude, that's just like just the way that he's fire. colored. Yeah, he pushed the big six all the way out of the field. I mean, like it was. And I mean, we don't have our big camera with us today, but so we couldn't zoom in super close, but we got it all on film, so that's all that matters. And we got it done. Hopefully we can go down here. I'm hoping he's laying on the edge of the field, but the way he ran off makes me feel good about it. I thought it was back when I was... It was a little quarter in, but I did tuck the yeah. shoulder, shoulder, so... When I was filming it, I thought it was back a little bit, but I went back and watched it, and I couldn't really tell because of smoke from the muzzleloader, but... So hopefully he's just laying down here, but I guess we're going to, I don't know how long we're going to give him or what, but we'll get out of here and we tried to call our buddy Dustin, he didn't answer, Dustin, he needed to learn how to pick up the phone, but I mean. Well, he did just text me. He texted him back, never mind. Uh, so we're going to get out of here and give him a little bit of time probably, and then go down there and see if we can find any blood. All right, guys, so we're out here where we shot him at, and uh, we're struggling to find any blood. Like, can't find nothing. We feel pretty good about the hit. I mean, we know he hit him either right behind the shoulder he hit, just clipped the shoulder, but, I mean, even if he hit him in the shoulder, we're thinking it's probably going to break through that shoulder, but there's two main deer trails over here going out of the field that they use, so we're thinking he obviously took one of those, most likely. So me and KJ are probably going to split up, and each take a lot and just see if we can find any bit of blood. So we'll get back to you. This is one of the main trails right here they cut down over the woods. 
and you can kind of see up here how it's how the path out right here. So we're just gonna split up down these trails. What? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You swear? KJ just found him. KJ just found him. He's like not even 20 yards. Not even 20 yards, baby. Let's go. No, no way. No way. No freaking way. No way. He's right down there. Hold on, let me zoom in and see if I can get it on the camera. No way. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. No way. No there way. Is down. No way. No way. 20 yards. 20 yards from where he shot him. Holy crap. Dude, that is a that is a buck right there. Oh, oh, what about that, baby? What about that? What about that? No way. No way. Dude, this, this that is, is crazy. This this might be my biggest buck ever today. Oh my dude, that God, buck is so pretty. Beautiful. Oh. I'd say it's safe to oh safe to say God. he's the boss around here. Dude. Look at that buck. He's so symmetrical too. Oh my. What'd God. you say? You've never shot a symmetrical ten point? I've never shot a symmetrical ten point in my life. Until I now. Wanted to for a few years. Until now. Until now. Look at that baby. You can see the shot right here. It, it obviously went straight through that shoulder. Oh yeah, it just. I mean, just straight through. I it. mean, that was right in the shoulder. It just busted it up. <laughs> oh my God. That muzzleloader did the job, eh? That muzzleloader did the job. I mean, look at that. No, I'm not the biggest fan of muzzleloaders, but. Dude, that is that is good mass for. Oh. Dude, look right here. Look at that that is awesome. Oh, my God. He's almost like palmated right there. I know. That is crazy, dude. Give me some. <laughs> Give me some. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Muzzleloader season in Kentucky. I mean, what a buck! I mean, like, seriously, dude. That's what you call an Eastern Kentucky giant right there. Oh my God! He's got crabs on both sides. Sheesh! Thank the Lord for that hunt. That was such an awesome hunt. Dude. I mean, that it just don't get any better than that right there. Like, I, I actually don't know what to do with a buck like this. <sighs> like I'm. Um, well, guys, I guess you can say me and Drew. Me and Drew did it again. We, uh, he's, he's hunted with me plenty this year. And, uh, I've got been blessed. Twice. Yeah, I really, we really gotten lucky twice. Came down here on, on last day, just hoping, hoping for a miracle, really, and it, and it happened, luckily. Same thing with the elk one day hunt, and we happened to just, yeah, strike gold. We've been blessed. Yep, so uh, there's actually a state record bull, if you all don't know, and uh, killed by Elmo, the same place that I just killed this deer at, and we decided to name them both lucky, because uh, we'll just say they both both dodged plenty of bullets and arrows, and uh, they've been missed a few times. None of them have connected, so they've not been wounded or anything, but... Just a picture perfect hunt, honestly, I mean, can't thank God enough for this one because that's the first time I've ever had to had the chance to witness something like that. I mean, he just came in and 
squared oh. off with that six point. It was awesome. Owned his territory, baby. Yeah, obviously he was the boss of the area. So, and uh, yeah, we came down here with the muzzle loader and uh, figured out that it wasn't on site. About shooting about three foot high, and uh, luckily Dustin let us borrow his muzzle loader that he killed his doe with this morning. So he kind of saved us. Yeah. So shout out Dustin again. So. Awesome and, uh, hunt. Another awesome hunt. Another the elk awesome hunt, hunt. In this one. I mean, just couldn't be more blessed. God has definitely blessed me this year with two beautiful animals, to say the least. And shout out to Harley County. <laughs>